What's up Tackle Warehouse fans, Jake here, bringing you another how-to video. Today we're gonna to show you how to rig up a weedless Ned rig. Now the Ned rig has been an exploding finesse technique over the last few years and virtually every company on the market makes products for the Ned rig. But one of the inherent problems of a Ned rig is most of the traditional tackle uses an exposed jig hook. So those exposed hooks, you know, they get snagged a lot and even the jig heads that have weed guards on them offer very minimal snag resistance at all. So today we're gonna to show you an alternative method on how to rig up a weedless Ned rig. Some people also call this rig the tiny child rig. So to rig this up, what you're gonna need is a small Nico weight. You're gonna need yourself your favorite little worm hook and then your favorite Ned rig worm as well. So let's get right to it. All right, the first step here is you're gonna to wanna to insert your weight into the head of the worm or the fat side of the worm, whatever you're using. And I'm using this VMC Half Moon Nico weight. I like these weights with the, the heavy ribbing on them because once you get them in there, you want to use a weight that's got that heavy ribbing or a screw lock style so that it locks that, that weight into place. It's not going to fly out on the cast. And then since you have that half moon shape, you're going to kind of get that, that sensitivity that you would with a jig head when you're ticking across, ticking across rocks and stuff like that. So you'll be able to feel what type of cover you're going across. The next step, you want to get your, your worm hook ready. So I'm using a number one offset Gamagatsu EWG hook. I like the small EWGs, but you can use a, a regular offset or a straight shank, Nico hook, uh, wacky hook, whatever you prefer. And you just wanna rig that up just like you would with a Texas rig, but through the tail. And once you get that, that hook rigged in there, you wanna texpose that hook point. And now you have a completely weedless Ned rig. So you can throw this into brush, into grass, lay downs, anything like that and it'll come through and you're not gonna get hung up like you would with the traditional Ned Rig. All right, one more tip we're gonna give you. If you don't have any Ned Rig worms at home, you can always use a small stick bait like a Senko or a Yum Ding or anything like that. Just trim an inch or two down off the top and then you can pretty much make this rig and it works just as well. All right, thanks for tuning into this how-to video on how to rig up a weedless Ned Rig. If you learned something here today, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to put a comment down below on other videos you'd like us to film in the future or ideas you have. We're always looking for content ideas from, from the anglers out there that watch these. And if you're looking for more videos like this, make sure to go to the Learning Center at TackleWarehouse.com.